It was common for many religions, long before the advent of Yahweh and Jesus, to have gods who were born in mysterious, miraculous ways, sometimes to virgins, and who came to earth to perform miracles, teach about judgment and the afterlife, and die and resurrect. While these stories are different from those of Christ, common archetypes in cultures close to Palestine suggest pagan influences on the biblical account of Christ's birth. It is noteworthy that many human gods celebrate their birthdays on December 25. As far as Christians are concerned, Christ was not actually born on this date. Biblical scholars believe he was born in the spring, because the Bible mentions shepherds in the fields at his birth. It wasn't until the 4th century aid that the idea that Jesus was born on December 25 achieved historical prominence. There is no mention of Christ's birth on December 25 among the earliest Christian authors, such as Origen, Tertullian, Irenaeus, and the Gospel authors. In this video, let's look at pagan gods and demigods recorded to be born by virgins in December. Late December, the time of the winter solstice, in the Northern Hemisphere, the shortest day and longest night of the year, was full of pagan European celebrations. It was around the year 274 AD that the Roman Empire declared December 25 a day of celebration for the birth of the Syrian god, Saul Invictus. Almost 50 years later, the Roman Emperor Constantine officially proclaimed December 25 as Christ's birthday. It is interesting to note that many gods are born to women, with names derived from the word May, meaning mothers, such as Mira in Syrian mythology, Maya in Greek mythology, Maya in Hindu mythology, and Mary in Hebrew mythology. It was common for gods or demigods to be born amid incredible sights and was often caused by the actions of another god. John D. Kayser writes, We learn from classical authors that the notion of the gods visiting mortal women and becoming fathers of their children was commonly entertained throughout the Near East in Greek and Roman times. The gods have lived on earth in the likeness of men was a common saying among ancient pagans and supernatural events were believed in as explanations of the gods' arrival upon earth in human guise. The birth of various man-gods was allegedly signaled by stars, meteors, and heavenly lights, including Christ, Yu, Lao Tzu, various Roman Kaisers, and Buddha, C. Giluli. This parallels the strange and fantastic events that surround the births of purely mythological figures, such as Osiris in Syria, Trinity in Egypt, and Mithra in Persia. 2,000 years before Christ, the virgin Egyptian queen Mut Emnua gave birth to Pharaoh Amenkept II. Mut Emnua had been told she was with child by the god Tot, and the god Neph impregnated her by holding a cross, the symbol of life, to her mouth. Amenkept's birth was celebrated by the gods and by three kings, who offered him gifts. Ra, the Egyptian sun god, was supposedly born of a virgin Net. Horus was the son of the virgin mother Isis. In Egypt, and in other places such as Assyria, Greece, Cyprus, and Carthage. A mythological virgin mother and her child was often a popular subject of art and sculpture. Attis, a Phrygian Greek vegetation god, was born of the virgin Nana. By one tradition, Dionysus, a Greek character half-god and half-human, was the son of Zeus, born to the virgin Persephone. Persephone also supposedly birthed Jason, a character with no father, human or divine. Persis was born to a mortal woman named Danai, and fathered by Zeus. Zeus also slept with a mortal woman, though the daughter of a nymph named Bidio, and they had a son and a daughter. He slept with the mortal Leda, who gave birth to Helen of Troy and other offspring. There is a story that Plato was born to a virgin, Perixion, and fathered by Apollo, who warned Ariston, Perixion's soon-to-be husband, not to harm her. According to some followers of Buddha Gautama, he was born to the virgin Maya by divine decree. Genghis Khan was supposedly born to a virgin seated by a great miraculous light. The founder of the Chinese empire, Fo Hai, was born after a woman, not necessarily a virgin, ate a flower or red fruit. The river Ho Korea gave birth to a son when seated by the sun. Zeus in snake form impregnated the mother of Alexander the Great. Krishna was born to the virgin Devaka. In Rome, Mercury was born to the virgin Maya and Romulus to the virgin Rhea Silvia. Though not a virgin birth story, Augustus Caesar was supposedly born when Apollo slept with a mortal woman named Asia, and was later called a savior and the son of God, whose birthday was celebrated, a birthday that marked for the world the beginning of good tidings through his coming, to quote the Romans. A few years before Christianity was proclaimed the official religion of the empire, the Romans made Mithra the protector of the empire. According to some versions of Mithra's story, he was the son of a virgin. 
He was born on December 25 in a cave, where shepherds and magi brought gifts for him. The similarities between ancient religion and Christianity make one wonder if Christianity was not an exception to the rule that societies tend to adopt beliefs, stories, and traditions from each other. These and many more themes in ancient religion are the reason many Christians do not want to celebrate or associate Jesus Christ with December 25th.